What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid, Modern X, and Cyanogen Mod 12.1 is finally here for the LG G3. In fact, Cyanogen Mod 12.1 is here for many devices, so this is going to be a quick review of all the new features in Cyanogen Mod 12.1. In this video, I'm pretty much just going to cover all the features of Cyanogen Mod 12.1, so this will be kind of a lengthy features list. There's really not a ton of features in Cyanogen Mod, just a few features that help to optimize the user experience. We're going to go ahead and take a look at those right now. Okay guys, so we're gonna take a quick look at the CyanogenMod 12.1 ROM. So basically what we have here is all of the updates that are included in Android 5.1. So all your animations, all your security features, all of your user interface animations and tweaks, all your material design tweaks, and all of your security features are built into 12.1. So the first thing we'll do is go into our settings and see what we're working with. Go into About Phone. You guys can see here that we're running Android 5.1.1. This is the May 1st nightly. So we'll go ahead and click on that CyanogenMod version. Bring up the CyanogenMod Easter Egg. Okay, if we press and hold that, of course, it's going, that's going to launch the CyanogenMod Flappy Bird game, which is incredibly difficult and nearly impossible. Okay, so aside from that, we do have some customizations here that make the user experience even better than ever, but we'll take a look at some of the 5.1 features. So if we pull down the status bar, you guys can see here that now we have menus built into our Wi-Fi, so we don't have to go into our settings to set our Wi-Fi. And then we also have the same menu in our Bluetooth, so we're able to access that menu without going into the actual settings application. So the thing here is we do have some animations you guys can see animations and there's all kinds of animations built into the ui for 5.1 and also 12.1 so you'll find some of those animations like in the play store the back arrow does a little spin and you'll just find them here and there as you go through uh, the rom or as you're using your phone on a day-to-day -day basis so another thing here on the lock screen if you pull down your notification panel and then grab this area here and pull up, that's going to unlock your phone. So you don't have to have uh, that extra swipe once you dismiss your notifications. We'll go into our settings and we'll take a look at some of our customization options built into CyanogenMod 12.1. So we'll go into the settings. You guys can see there is a theme manager built into settings. It's also a standalone application. And this just allows us to theme each individual item. So I don't have any themes installed here but you're able to change the style of the ROM itself you're able to change the icons fonts wallpapers lock wallpapers boot animations and sound and you can also pick and choose which elements of the theme that you want to run on your ROM so you can actually pick and choose elements from multiple themes which is pretty awesome okay so if we go down to where it says personal uh, you're able to set system profiles you're able to change your status bar so you can Place your clock in the center, have it on the left side, or have it on the right side. I prefer the center clock. You can also hide or choose to display your AM and PM. And then you can choose the battery style. I prefer text. It comes with circle. But there are several others here to choose from. So I'll just keep it with text. There is a brightness control option. If you turn that on, you're able to slide your finger across the status bar to control the brightness. And that works really well. Then you can show your notification count. So when your email comes in, instead of it just saying uh, that you have an email there, it'll show you how many emails that you have that are not read. So we'll go back. Go to notification drawer. You guys can see there's an option for quick pull down. If I pull down from the right hand side, it's going to pull down my notification panel and my toggles. And if I pull down from the center, it's just going to pull down just my notifications. So we no longer have to swipe with two fingers to get those toggles, which is a pretty neat little feature there. Uh, you have an option to change your tiles here. So one thing that doesn't show up all the time here that people like to add is the hotspot. So that's pretty cool that you're able to add that there. Now if we pull it down you'll see the hotspot toggle there. Okay, You can also choose to add or remove the brightness slider. So if we pull it down there's our brightness slider. Uh, but if that's taking up too much space we can actually remove that and it goes away. Okay, so one other little feature that is built into Android 5.1 is the priority setting in our volume menu. But CyanogenMod 12.1 does it a little differently and I really like the way that they do it. So if I pull up uh, my sound bar here, I can choose priority. So that's going to silence my phone other than any applications that I have set as a priority. So if I want to receive nothing but Facebook notifications or say nothing but calls, 
uh, or even nothing but alarms, I can set that priority and then those are the only things that I receive like through the night while I'm trying to sleep. So basically it'll put your phone on total silence uh, with not even any vibrations, which I've been able to use that and have really enjoyed it. But then one thing that they do differently with that sound menu is you have this little option right here. So this is something that's been taken out of uh, Android 5.1 and is introduced into Sanjimai 12.1. You're able to control your ringtone sound, your media sound, and your alarm clock sound separately. So if you wanted no sound coming from your ringtone, no sound coming from your media, but you wanted to make sure that the alarm clock was able to ring, you're able to set that up individually. Okay, and one other thing that Sinajamai 12.1 has done a little differently from Google that I really enjoyed was the Recents menu. Uh, so you have your Recents menu here. You can dismiss these one by one. And in regular Android 5.1.1, they tend to accumulate, it's not only your recent applications, but also any tabs that you visited on the internet. And it really becomes just one big huge cluster here and you're not able really to do anything with it. It kind of makes it unusable. Uh, but what you're able to do here is you can dismiss them all at once, which is just a really easy way to clean up your recents folder. And if you have just over accumulated on your recent tabs, it's one way to get rid of those. I'm really glad that Sinajamai 12.1 has that feature included. So aside from all those features, we also have uh, wallpapers that we can choose from here. There's several Sinajamod 12.1 uh, wallpapers here that are included. Of course, you do have your Sinajamod 12.1 boot animation. And then, of course, the ROM is just incredibly fast and light. As you guys can see, there's no bloatware at all. In fact, these are the only applications that came with the ROM itself. I've got Audio FX. Uh, I've got a Sinajamod browser there, calculator, calendar, Sinajamod camera. I've got... The clock, contacts, downloads, email, file manager, this is the CM, file manager, CM messaging, uh, themes, and I do have Flashify, which I had downloaded separately just to be able to boot into recovery. But as you guys can see, it's very light, very quick, and everything seems to be performing excellently, and you should have an overall better experience if you're into AOSP with Sinajamod 12.1. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for the Sinajamod 12.1 review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.